Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're all having a great day so far. Today's video is going to be an exciting lip swatch video. We're going to be talking all about the Clean Color or Clean Color Madly Matte Lipsticks. Of course, I'm going to take you through all the lip swatches and arm swatches first, just because I feel like that's kind of the most exciting and interesting part. And then afterwards, we'll jump straight into the review, information, pros, cons, all of it. And you guys, these liquid lipsticks are $1 each. That's crazy. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's get started. shopmiss8.com. This is my third time purchasing from that site and if you guys don't know about that site, everything on there is one dollar and they have like jewelry, um, they have like hair bands, hair stuff, um, makeup is on there and I usually just stick to jewelry, costume jewelry like these little earrings right here. But this time I was checking out their cosmetics and I saw these matte liquid lipsticks for one dollar each and I was like there's just no way. That is such an insane deal. I mean I love my you know Colourpop 
Older Pop, I don't know why I say it like that. You know, I love my ColourPop Ultra Matte Lippies, and those are 5 or $6, which is super affordable already. But when I saw these for $1 each and having such a large shade selection, I figured I might as well pick some up and, you know, test them out. If they work out, great, I can share it with you guys. And if not, you know, they're only a dollar, and I can still share with you guys my thoughts. So, yes, um, online they have, I believe it was four different selections, um, shade categories. They had, like, the reds, they had the mauves, nudes, they had the purples. And yeah, and in those collections they had, I believe, four shades each, maybe five, so there's about 16 to 20 different shades, which is amazing. Packaging-wise, let's pick one up. I actually really am pleasantly surprised with the packaging, especially for only being a dollar. It comes in a little clear tube like this, so this is the exact product right here. It has a clean color or clean color Mally Matte Lip, they call it a lip gloss, I call it a lipstick just because there's no glossiness to it to me. On the bottom, the one con I do have is that it just has a number corresponding to the name online. Um, so they don't have the actual names anywhere on the packaging here, which is a little bit annoying, I'm not going to lie, just because it's really hard for me to, just because I don't like labeling things by numbers, I just wish it had names. And since they have names online, it's kind of a bummer that they couldn't put the name on the sticker right here. Um, but yeah, so they all do have a number corresponding with their name online. When you open it up, we do have a wand applicator, which I am very okay with. I love this. It's a nice stiff wand too, so it's not bendy. Um, and then it's so pigmented. So the formula is great, you guys. Um, it's very pigmented, very opaque, very creamy. I do have to say, some are hit, some are miss. Um, like you'll see in the swatches, probably, I believe it's this shade right here, 1604. It goes on a little bit more patchy and a little bit more of like a thin consistency. So you really have to build it up and... Um, you know, it takes a couple layers. On the contrary to that being a con, though, you can build these up and they're not going to look patchy on your lips. You can put on multiple layers and just keep building that intensity. It's not going to be noticeable of which layer you put on and how many layers you put on. So that's something I really like as well. Breaking it down, the overall pros, the price, of course. That price is outstanding. I'm still kind of in awe. I'm like, how? How are you only $1? And um, the packaging, again, I love the packaging. Minus not having a name. The shade selection. Shade selection is a huge pro to me. There is, like I said, 16 to 20 different shades. That is a ton of shades to choose from. It kind of smells like um, Fruit Loops to me. Like cereal, the Fruit Loops. That's what it kind of smells like to me. So it's not annoying. You don't. I don't even smell it now that it's on my lips. Um, but you do smell it when you're applying it. Another pro that I like is going back to the layering. You can mix different colors, which is awesome. That's what I have on my lips right now. I went in with 1602 first, and then I went in with 1603 over top. Just to kind of mute this out a little bit, but get a little bit more intensity. If that makes sense. It makes a beautiful kind of like dusty, mauvey purple, and I really, really like that. And then again, the only con that I have is them not having the name on their packaging. Um, I did want to let you guys know, though, some of the shades dry beautifully and completely dry. Other shades, like I will show you, um, they kind of, not sticky, they don't stay sticky, they kind of stay tacky a little bit. They look completely matte, but if you go like this, some of the shades really, you know, grip on. Your lips will really want to grip on together. Um, we'll do the kiss test. So very nice and non-transferable, which is amazing as well. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. I just wanted to come on here and share, share this with you guys because these are so ridiculously affordable and I love them. So if you're looking to try out some matte liquid lipsticks or just want to add to your collection, I feel like this is a great way to do so. Also, if you want to kind of step out of your com comfort zone with different colors, this is a great way to do so. And some of these colors are going to be perfect for the spring and summertime as well. I think that completes this review, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're all having a great day so far. Today is just kind of going to be like a current favorites video. Um, I have not done a monthly 